Hey guys, it's Tiara Yasmin. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today's video is going to be a very simple but super fun press on nail set. So if you guys don't know, I do make press on nails. This is something that I do for my business and I've been doing this for a little over three years now. So I just like to go ahead and post videos of myself working on nails, making different designs and kind of just tracking my progress over time as I get better. So in today's video i'm going to be doing a very simple but fun set at the same time and i feel like sometimes you don't have to do too much to make a very very nice looking set so i'm going in with these nail tips that i've cut down actually to be more of like a long shape they are originally like 3xl but i cut them down to be a little bit you know shorter still on the long side though I'm going to wear them for myself and I'm still working on being a long nail girly. As you can hear in the background, I am clacking my nails around because I just feel like that girl right now. But whenever I get a little bit better at working with long nails, then I will continue to wear them a little more. But I'm still working my way up. So anyway, this nail set is very simple, only three colors. But I think where the real magic happens is where I add all of my charms, which you will see later on. So I'm trying to make my content a little bit longer. I know that some of you guys vouched for long content, um, less editing and just more watching, but y'all, sometimes it's hard to like make <laughs> the long content and not have to sit through it while I'm trying to edit and make sure that I don't like include anything I don't want included or to speed up the process where it's not necessary. Cause sometimes whenever I'm recording, I do get distracted and I may start watching something on my tablet or just not paying attention there might be background noise whatever so i'm gonna try for you guys to make long content but this one is gonna be a little bit shorter right now i'm just adding all of my base colors and essentially what this is going to do is just allow me to have a good base for the designs that i'm doing again very simple i'm going to be using my airbrush and then these nude ones um this middle one at least that you're seeing right now I'm going to be doing a French tip, of course. I honestly love a good French tip and especially when I do these longer nails, I love a good deep French. I know right now the more shallow French tips are really in. I'm kind of liking it, but I feel like at heart, I know that I love a really deep French tip, the one that allows you to see more of the, what would be your nail bed, but you know obviously it's a press on so i love that look i think it looks super nice and i love when it's just a little bit more tapered off at the top not so round but looking a little bit more like pointed you'll see when i'm you know trying to do it right here. So as you saw, that base color is actually matted out. You can also just take an alcohol swab and just wipe off that tacky layer so that whatever you're putting on, like this chrome or a pigment powder, that way it won't you know, stick to that layer. But I went ahead and used a matte coat in this video. I know, like I said, I could have used something different, but that's what I went ahead and did. And then I applied that chrome, super easy and super nice. I saw a couple of you guys comment on my previous videos where I've used chrome and asked how long did I um, how long did I cure that black coat for so that I could apply more mirror like instead of more like shimmery you have to make sure that you're curing that black coat for 60 seconds at least with my specific nail lamp I feel like sometimes when you leave it in too little it won't apply correctly and it'll kind of just pick up as you're trying to put it on which is not the look at all This part's pretty self-explanatory. I just went in and used white on the black nails and black on the nude nails and the white ones. So I kind of just did the reverse of what you see on the nails. And I think it turned out very nice. And of course I gave that a good cure and then I moved on to the fun part, which is applying all my charms. If you guys ever wonder, like watching other videos and then you see this one as well, I get all of my charms, my rhinestones, my polishes, pretty much everything, like my equipment, all of that stuff 
comes from Amazon and I do have an Amazon storefront for you guys to shop. That way you guys can get very good products for a very affordable price, especially if you're a beginner. That's a great place to start. So I'd go ahead and click that link that's in my description and it'll take you right to my storefront. Go to nail finds and you'll see pretty much everything I use, even including the little bib that I have underneath my nails right now because it helps you protect your workspace and if you're anything like me when you work on nails it can get a bit messy. I think I was really excited about this set because I just bought a bunch of new charms, including the star charms that you see here. Um, I know that it's not very practical to have all these charms on your nails, especially when you're doing things on a daily basis, but I just think this one is so fun and I just, I had to have them. So also I'm trying to get rid of some of my charms that don't get used too much. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to do that. A little pro tip, as you can see, I'm kind of struggling to get some of these to stay without them sliding off before I cure them. Get you a little flash cure where you can easily just move the nail underneath there and just cure whichever charm you're trying to do without having it to put it all the way inside of a nail lamp. So it'll cure a lot faster for you and you can move a little bit more freely when you're trying to do this because obviously if they're at an angle or you're putting multiple charms onto one nail, they can start to slide around and move before you're ready to cure it. Last but certainly not least, I'm going to put on a top coat, a shiny top coat, because I feel like that just kind of adds to this very futuristic emo goth look. I don't know what exactly you would call this look. If you guys know, comment it down below. I hate to call things stuff and it's not actually what it's called, but I think it's giving me a kind of like grungy, emo scene kind of vibe and this is the final product guys i love 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 how this looks inside of the box so cute and so nice if you guys like this video be sure to give it a like be sure to comment and subscribe down below so that you guys can keep up with my videos i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye